I'm George Friend, and this is Career Questions. Do you know what? I didn't even know we won that many games. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Dan Seaborn played left centre half. Matt Taylor played centre half, and Steve Tully right back. Brilliant. Exeter, um, lovely family club. Um, yeah, re really enjoyed it. I had a lot of uh, fun times there, and uh, the manager who, for my breakthrough season, Paul Tisdale, was excellent as well. Matt Jarvis. I remember I missed the chance to score uh, like in the first half, in the first 10 minutes. It came, um, the ball in a corner and then dropped to me, up to like my knee. The knee took a, like a volley and it went over. So, yeah, I was never going to score to be honest. But it was a great chance and it probably should have fallen to someone else and we might have gone 1-0 up. I think, I'd, I think Skulls, <laughs> Skulls kept getting the ball and just zigging it over my head to Valencia. And I remember just like thinking, wow, Skulls is so good at passing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was, I was nowhere near it, so it's fair enough. <laughs> good question. Um, I'll go with James Hayter. James Coppinger. Um, second in the scoring charts. No, I don't know. I feel like this player, like if people know you've played with him, like, what was he like? What was he really like? Uh, was it that season? Not El Hajjouf. I was like the same season. Oh yeah. The first year we had an amazing group. We had uh, obviously James Coppinger who's still there now, played a huge amount of games for the club, the club legend there, really talented player. We had uh, a good friend of mine, Simon Gillett, centre midfield. We had uh, Jimmy O'Connor who's a Midlands lad, who's now Kidderminster assistant, started at Aston Villa. Uh, that was just a really good, good group there and we were always the underdogs in the championship but we, we, we played nice football which always helped. And Billy was Billy Sharp was our talisman. He scored all the goals, and um, yeah, he's a fantastic striker in the championship. That's for sure. Do you know what? I didn't even know we won that many games. <laughs> no, no, I really can't remember. I can only there are so many stories for that season which I we'll talk about when I've retired. But um, yeah, I can't even remember the wins, to be honest. Our home win, maybe Jufy scored a pen, I think. I think he dinked it on his first game. Yeah, there was lots of uh, events during that season and they tend to stick in my mind more than the wins, unfortunately. But it's all good, uh, good stuff for the career, exactly. Two thousand and fifteen, was it? 14, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, that, yeah. like the, the year, the season that the year finishes. That's how I describe the season. Yeah. You remember having? Say like forty-two, a bit more than that. Fifty. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere in between. <laughs> Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been that season we got to play a final. And talking about Wembley, don't want to lose at Wembley, we lost at Wembley. But it gave us good incentive for the next year. Yeah, I mean, you just defl so deflated, like so deflated. And the worst thing is like the half the stadium was yellow because we were playing Norwich, half was red. Literally split down the middle, 80, 90,000, whatever it was. 
and the, the yellow just stayed there cheering. I remember looking at it thinking like, oh, that should have been red and we should have won. And, but on, on the day they were better than us. And that's the only thing that made it a bit easier was it wasn't like we'd lost on penalties and they only just scraped through. They were better than us on the day. But uh, it, it gave us so much drive for the next year to get promoted, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we had a there was a party organised for afterwards, you know, win or lose, and it was just so hard for anyone there to to uh, enjoy it. And I think they'd hired a, a, a Queen tribute, <laughs> and obviously he was gearing up to sing We Are the Champions, <laughs> but he left that one out, thankfully. <laughs> so uh, yeah. The League Cup, it's like I think it's the same as the start of this season. The first fixture was a League Cup match, Bury away. Um, the last game was Sheffield Wednesday away, and annoyingly it was 299. And obviously, I would have preferred it to have been capped off at 300, but I just tell everyone it's 300. No one really checked. <laughs> <laughs> I think as you get, as you play more games, less, but of course, because there's there's lots of different factors and people you want to. I mean, anyone that's got any kind of standards wants to impress new people and, and keep your own standards high. So there's new teammates, new fans, new coaches, new um, staff members, everyone really. And of course, if you've signed somewhere, it means that the club wanted you, so you want to try and prove, you know, your worth. So yeah, get nervous. I get nervous for every game, uh, whether it's a pre-season game or a playoff final. Um, I think it's good. It's good to have those nerves. Uh, Grant is it? No, but, uh, yeah. Grant was a good, good leader, and of course a very good player, and he's. Uh, Sunderland lad and had two spots, his second spell at Sunderland now, but he knows the North East and has you know, his family there and stuff and uh, he was he was just excellent, so consistent and scored so many goals. I think that season he got in Team of the Year, he scored a load of goals as well and I still speak to him regularly now. Um, yeah, really good guy and he was a fantastic teammate for me. We went, we went through a lot of stuff together for our years at Borough and uh, pleased to see him back at Sunderland, his, his club. I'm George Friend and that was Career Questions. <laughs>